Welcome to our training for the Nano Generator FlexS. To set up your flow unit, you will need a mix for chip, reservoir tanks, disposable gaskets, and a lipid demo test kit. Before reagent preparation, we must warm up the pressure controller once a day. To do this, simply press the warm up button at the bottom of the home page. While the program is running, we may return to reagent preparation starting with the mixing chip. The Mix4 chip has a circular mark on one side to help you orient it on the stage. As you insert the chip, ensure the mark is on the left-hand side of the setup. Each chip channel has its collection outlet on the far left. Preload the channel with 5 microliters of anhydrous ethanol, pressing to the first stop of your pipette. Now we can insert the fluid reservoirs. The smaller paired ones should be closer to you. These are the inlets for your reagents. The large reservoirs for collecting product. Ensure it sits where we preloaded the mixing channel. When loading the reservoirs, first conduct inline dilution in the collection reservoir's chimney. For this, 25 microliters of aqueous buffer is sufficient, regardless of production volume. Next, Load the left reservoir with aqueous solution and the right with lipid solution. For practice assays, you may replace these with water and anhydrous ethanol. Cap the reservoirs with a gasket and lock the flex S to ensure a proper seal. Once assembly is complete, we may move on to the software operation for the device. On the home page, enter new simple recipe. Here you will find several parameters which can be tuned to suit your applications. The total flow rate may be set to 3 or 4 mils per minute, while flow rate ratio is fixed at 3 to 1. The total volume may be set up to 500 microliters. For higher volumes, please see our FlexM model. The chip channel may be set to whichever ones are currently active. These channels are numbered left to right in ascending order. While up to four channels may be used at once, keep all unused channels off to prevent air leakage. When you are done setting your parameters, simply save the recipe and it is ready to go. You can find any previously saved recipes in the Saved Recipes menu. Simply highlight the recipe to load. In any case, after executing a recipe, you may monitor its live pressure and flow rates here. If your setup proceeded correctly, the pressure should quickly stabilize and the airflow rate should stay near zero. A typical recipe will be completed within seconds. From here, you may collect your product for further analysis. Also make sure to discard the gaskets. These are one-time use, as are each of the four chip channels. Before testing your own formulation, you should test your FlexS with our lipid demo kit. When diluted to 15 millimolar, the lipid demo at 4 mils per minute and 3 to 1 flow rate ratio yields an average particle size of 35 to 45 nanometers, with a PDI below 0.2. If you can achieve these results, your procedure and instrument are good to go. Thank you for watching our FlexS training video. For further inquiries, please contact us at www.pressygenome.com.